Hello everyone and a happy manga Monday to you. Welcome back or if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome, welcome. My name is Zoe and this is my channel Ms. Manga where I talk a lot about manga and today we're talking about some short series that just give you those summer vibes and you know with the heat coming on strong i figured it's a good time if you want to like cool off with a summer read so i don't know about you but <laughs> when i think summer i think mermaids <laughs> don't don't leave some mermaid tales aren't just cute fluff and they're really cool and interesting. So let's start with a darker, mysterious mermaid one shot, and that is Tropic of the Sea by Satoshi Kon, who is a big deal mangaka and creator of anime movies that are super well known, like Perfect Blue and a lot of others. So, yeah, this is a darker more realistic i guess you could say mermaid story and it follows yosuke's family who has a strange unique tradition that once every 60 years they receive the egg of a mermaid and they have to their duty is to take care of this egg until it matures and then return it to the sea and in exchange for this favor the mer people have blessed their coastal town with calm seas and plentiful fish. So, what happens when this coastal town starts neglecting these traditions in favor of consumerism and siding with commercial developers instead of the sea and the mer people? It's really good. It's quick read and it'll definitely refresh you during these hot summer days. So next up, we're continuing with the mermaids, but still dark, still dark and mysterious mermaids, but with a little, a little flair towards uh, shoujo or jose vibes. And that would be Mermaid Saga. So Viz just re-released the individual mermaid tale volumes that had been published before that I actually got but now they've released these gorgeous omnibus two volumes and it's complete and so I definitely think the time is now to pick this one up this also is a very dark and interesting kind of horrific take on mermaids and in this story mermaid flesh can actually make you immortal but more often than not it just turns you into a monster so there are only few people that can survive the transformation after eating mermaid flesh to become immortal and the story follows one such individual yuta who became immortal after he unwittingly ate the mermaid flesh and now he seeks a way to become human again and has been traveling around for hundreds of years. And when our story takes place, he meets a determined young lady named Mana, who is actually searching for a mermaid. I just absolutely love it. There are a lot of kind of shorter stories all following these characters though. And in these stories, it really explores humanity and the horrors of humanity in a way. Like, there's a little bit of a romance underscore, there's a little bit of a more hopeful tone throughout, but it's definitely focusing on the horrific sides of people in their desperation and their desire not to die. Um, and yeah, I just think that it's a really unique take on mermaids and makes them into this kind of double-edged sword with, like that can give you a, such a gift or a curse, such as immortality. I love it. <laughs> I really recommend this one. Okay, and last up with the mermaids, I swear this is the last one. <laughs> 
And this is the cute and fluffy romance mermaid story, if that's what you were looking for. And that is Mermaid Boys. This one is kind of a gender swap type story of the Little Mermaid. And instead of a girl mermaid, it is a boy prince mermaid who has been going through all these mermaid candidates to be his wife. And instead he ends up falling in love with a human girl. And so begins his desire to go on land and to get to know this girl that he has become infatuated with. It is super cute and I really love that it's not just love at first sight and then everything's perfect and it works out because it's definitely not. He, oh, his eyes are open to the fact that this girl is not exactly who he expected her to be upon a very brief encounter with her. But now that he has legs and is able to be on land, he discovers many wonderful things about the land. And also that even though the girl isn't who he immediately assumed she would be, he still is very interested in her in getting to know her. And so their relationship kind of naturally progresses from there. It's super cute. The only downside of this series is unfortunately it's been sitting at three volumes with not a fourth volume in sight. It's been a while. So it's kind of a long hiatus. And if that's not something you want, then you might not want to pick it up. But it's so, you know, cute and fluffy that like, even though we don't get that ending yet, I do still have hope we will get it eventually. But even though you only get the three volumes so far, it's still just like, a sweet fluffy read if that's what you're looking for. Moving on now, we have still the vein of a fantasy, kind of not of this world, with the tunnel to summer, the exit of goodbyes, ultramarine. So I had just talked about how I finally bought the final volume of this series. It's complete at four volumes. So it's a quick, easy read and I just finished it. And so I thought, you know, I mean, summer's in the title, summer's a vibe throughout this one. It's got a lot of depth to a short series, I think. And it has this lovely sci-fi tunnel that perhaps will grant you your wish at the center of it. <laughs> so there is a myth about this tunnel that if you go into it, your wish could be granted. And the main protagonist, having heard this rumor, goes in search of the tunnel because he has a very desperate wish to have his little sister back because when they were children, she tragically died. And it completely, you know, devastated the entire family. And so he wishes that he could bring her back. And so it's a very bittersweet, very like heartfelt story at its core. And he meets a new transfer student, Anzu, who also becomes interested in the tunnel and they form this connection and this bond. And it's just, it's really about human connections and uh, our love, friendship, you know, the bonds we have with each other. So I just, I really thought it did a good job in four volumes of having this heavy theme at its core, but not being, you know, too tied down with that, not being too sad of a series and really just exploring, you know, what it means to grieve, what it means to move on. And I think it's a pretty good story. It's also based off a light novel, if you wanna check that out. I'm kind of curious how the light novel will compare and contrast with the manga version. And it also, it has inspired a anime film, I guess, which I haven't checked out yet, but I don't know, it could be really cool. I don't know, let me know down below if you've checked out either light novel or the movie. And last up, we have After the Rain. This is a short five volume omnibus, they are a little thicker, uh, series that is complete. And 
it is kind of dropping the whole fantasy that we have seen in the other ones if you're you know, maybe not into fantasy or just want something more down to earth story wise and it's a bit slice of life it's a bit young love and it's about conquering fears and pursuing your passions and not giving up it's got a lot of great themes and it follows this young high schooler, Kira Tachibana, who begins working at a family restaurant and ends up falling for the manager who is significantly older than her, like 40 something. He is divorced, he has a young child, but that doesn't matter to her. She just finds him so kind and respectful adult and she pours her heart into getting to know him and getting closer with him and it's just really like it seems like it might be oh my god an age gap that's bordering on the you know predatory but it never goes there don't worry she has a one-sided crush on him and though he is flattered and though he does not want to squash her feelings for him in a mean way but really trying to convince her that she is young she has her whole life in front of her and he is just struggling to find himself again at in middle age and so they're both kind of on these opposite tracks and it's really fascinating to see the development of both of their characters as they grow and learn from each other and it's really beautiful and it, it shows that like not every you know story that starts with a young girl being infatuated with an older man will become a romance <laughs> and it just makes me respect the manager even more because he sees how creepy that is and he does not think it's appropriate and that he is appropriate for her so yeah Having said that, it is a story about two people with broken dreams that just might be mendable with the help they get from each other and their other friends and family throughout the story. It's, you know, one of those healing second chance at life kind of at your passions and your dreams. And I just, it's a heartwarming. It's a heartwarming story. If you, if you feel like that more slice of life, slow, you know, uh, relaxing read while you escape the muggy, scorching heat outside, then I definitely think you should pick this one up because it is so good. And those were my five summer read recommendations. If you just want a short little dose of atmospheric summertime vibes reading, I definitely recommend all of those. They are really enjoyable and other than Mermaid Boys, which is on semi-permanent hiatus sadly, last that I know anyway, uh, they are all complete and that makes it nice if you want to just pick up a short, quick series during the summer months. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below. Have you read any of these? What do you think? Do you think they fit the theme? Are there any manga recommendations you would make for a good summer read? Um, you know, whether it has mermaids or not. <laughs> I'm sorry, three of them have mermaids. I just, you know, I think mermaids when I think summer. <laughs> and it's my video and I love mermaids, so yeah. And with that being said, if you haven't yet, I would really appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I'm trying to hit the big 500 mark. And yeah, so every follow was greatly appreciated. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that makes me know that I'm giving you content that you actually enjoy. So that makes me happy. And until next time, bye!